Hey y'all, hey, it's me, Rainy. In today's video, we're going to recap season four, episode nine of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Uh, it was okay. So I'm just gonna highlight some things, y'all, but it was it was all right this time. It was just, it was just hey, all right. So the episode starts off with, of course, Letitia going back to Black to talk to her husband, Marceau, about the rumors that her mother brought to her attention about him being so-called in a picture in a hotel room with his back turn so that's been bothering her it's been on her mind although she tried to act all big bad and tough around her mom when her mom was first telling her about it obviously what her mom said stuck to her so she goes up to black to meet with marcel marcel comes out and just trying to talk to her through the window she's like no can you get in the car he was like oh this is gonna be a long conversation yikes so he gets in the car and she begins to start off by just being so upset. Oh, I talked to my mom and my mom told me about this picture. And here he go. You can see him swiggling in the seat and kind of being irritated. And was like, why your mom is always in our business, you know? So that she would go on and just tell him more about what her mom told her in reference to, yeah, you supposedly told my mom that I knew where, I knew about you going to Atlanta and that you admitted that you were there with a friend. So he really wiggles back in his seat at that point and um she continues to talk and you could just see him in his mind like i don't read minds but i can read body language <sighs> baby you could just see him all in his seat wiggling around just conjuring up in his mind the comeback that he gonna have to tell her which is easy because she's so damn gullible the, co the cover-up that he gonna have to tell her so that she can believe he goes on to tell her you know, I just need you to believe in me, Tisha. I just need you to believe in me. You know, the rumors are gonna be there, but you just have to believe in me. Our marriage, you have to believe in me. Obviously she believe in you because she's been hearing all these rumors, basically with a lot of hard evidence and she's still with you. So obviously she believe in you. So he goes on and say, well, yeah, I was there. I was there with a friend. Um, and then, you know, we went out to dinner and she was like, well, we, he said, well, yeah, me and Christopher, somebody. He could just tell this girl anything and she believe it. She believe it. So she's starting to tear up, you know, and, you know, just being all upset and stuff. But well, why, why do people want to just see a young black marriage fail? Why are they always just, you know, saying all these horrible things? I think it's because of Martel's marriage. Um, you know, he got caught. So now they want to see me upset. Why do so many people want to see me upset? Girl, baby, girl, 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 people, your friends, people that's been in your circle have been trying to tell you forever, Letitia, that your husband got some stuff up his sleeves. Now, you know your man's body. You know your man's back. To me, that picture looked like him because he a little bit chunky in those pointy ears. Girl, come on now. Come on. So the last part about their conversation, y'all, and this is basically the whole gist of the whole show, really, because ain't that much more for me to talk about, but... After a conversation, she even goes on the top, start telling him that she apologized. Girl, what are you apologizing for? He manipulates this woman so easily. It's like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry that I came over here to disrupt your night. He was like, no, you ain't disrupt my night. I just need you to believe in me and I just need you. Man, you got me. You got me. I'm like, girl, it is so easy. So he going to continue to do what he doing, y'all. He going to continue because he got a very gullible wife. That's believing everything that he say. So why not? <laughs> why not? So y'all, there's another little small little segment that they just probably just threw in there because they ain't had nothing to talk about with Destiny and Tiffany talking. I guess Tiffany um, said she needed to catch up with Destiny because they hadn't talked since the whole thing that blew up with the Galentine's event. So she goes over there to where Tiffany, to where Destiny is with her son at some little playhouse place. And they just sitting there talking and recapping what happened um, at the thing and basically that's it you know the melanie conversation came up again and still destiny's still saying you know little things and taking little shots at melody and all this heaven all this and that so it's really not too much to say about that i mean you know why they put that in there so then moving right along then it's a, another boring segment with the oh gosh child maurice and kimmy i guess they're planning a housewoman party for their son and this segment was just so boring, too. I mean, they're sitting there talking. She's, the, you know, don't want to have Martel come because she feels like Martel brings drama, whatever. So I guess they call Martel over to their house to talk about the whole reason why she doesn't want him to come to the shower. So they get into that. And, y'all, 
but that was just a waste of my time too. I mean, really, just a waste of my time. Kimmy in this episode and in this whole season is really getting on my nerves with her no, 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 all of that and her little trying to be like a little peacemaker and all this other stuff. She really getting on my nerves. I mean, I really do like Kimmy, but this season is just not the season that I'm in favor with Kimmy because she's just really doing some little irritating things. So they meet with Martel. They tell Martel he can't come to the shower because Melly going to be there and she feels that Martel is staying drama, whatever. So, I mean, that now was it's time for the housewoman party for Kimmy's son. So the guests are starting to arrive. Of course, Destiny gets there first. And she, you know, passes out her gifts and she's like, you know, wondering like, you know, what, how this is going to be. And Kimmy's like, well, you know, everybody going to be here. So, you know, almost, almost like she's just ready for what's going to happen. So people start coming in. Melody comes in. Stormy comes in. Everybody start coming in, you know, you know, just kind of like, you know, eating food and just kind of socializing. Obvious, it's obvious that Melody and Letitia are not speaking and their husbands make reference to that. Melody looks like she's very unbothered. Tisha looks like she's reaching for attention. The way she's walking all around by Melody, obviously trying so hard not to speak to Melody, making it known that she's not speaking. Melody in her phone, honey, and she's so unbothered and she don't even care. So Tisha looks looking stupid, just constantly walking around. Then she's going to stop my son. Oh, it's hot in here. It's hot in here because I'm in here. Girl, sit your behind down. Sit down somewhere. Ain't nobody paying you no attention. So then Stormy comes up and, um, Kimmy approaches um, Destiny and asks Destiny if she didn't mind having a conversation with Stormy so that they can try to air out what happened because they really don't have no beef. So they just want to kind of talk it out. So both ladies agree to talk. Here go Kimmy, Miss Med Mediator. Try to be Miss Mediator. Ugh. So she takes them to her son's extra spare bedroom. They go in there and they talk. And so... Stormy being the woman that she is, and I love Stormy. She starts off the conversation. I can start it off and just basically say, I don't even know how we got here. We were talking business prior to this. Then we get to, you know, the glad on times thing. And then you mock me, you know, all this. And then here go, here go Destiny with her head rolling and stuff. Oh, well, I was giving you the same energy. You was coming at me like this, the ghetto talk and all this other stuff. And I can talk ghetto too. Stormy was like, wait, what? Why it's got to be, why it's got to be ghetto? It wasn't ghetto. Well, um, what, sweetie? Oh, why did she call her sweetie? She called her sweetie, and then Stormy just was like, don't call me sweetie. So they got into it a little bit, and Stormy kept her cool. She just basically, that's rude. Don't call me sweetie. My name is Stormy. Destiny gets up and walks out talking about something. She can't take this. You can't take what? You can't take a conversation? Girl. So then, y'all, ending it off, here come Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda comes to the party, you know, making her grand appearance, going all into the living room, speaking to everybody. Once everybody all settled and they get their food, here she go. Well, I got something to say. I got something to say about to all of y'all in here. Basically called all them bitches. Talking about something. They was all talking about her baby at the party. Tisha trying to stand up for herself and saying, you don't need to do nothing because I've addressed all these people, mom. But, you know, Miss Wanda, Tisha walks off. Miss Wanda addresses everybody. Her and Kimmy get into it. It goes off. So it's like, Miss Wanda, when are you going to just really, like, get it? Like, <laughs> The girl is grown. Your daughter is grown. You need to just stay out of your out of her business and let that girl live her life. And Tisha need to just get more backbone and just tell her mom to just leave her alone. Like, unless she like it, I don't know. But y'all, that's episode nine. Like I said, it was okay. You know, a little few things happened here and there, but it it was all right. So we'll see what happened. I guess they're gonna pick up from the housewoman party next week because it appeared that Wanda and Kimmy was about to get into it because you know she kept calling them bitches and Mar and Marceau was even trying to tell. His wife, Tisha, that your mom in there making trouble. She calling everybody. She calling all the women in there bitches. So, you know, you need to, you know, you do something. Your mom is out of control. But that's Miss Wanda. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this review. I will see y'all the next time, next week, when we do episode 10. And if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all at the next video. Bye.